watch it. I'm pretty man. And I got what? Period. 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 Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. You're very much welcome. If this is your first time, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And you know, if you're a returning subscriber, hey, hey, thank you for clicking this link again. Thank you very much anyway <laughs> today's video is going to be a story time on how my mom found out about my sexual experience at 16 and how she locked me out of the house in the middle of the night yeah so before i actually go deep into this video you guys will understand that everything i say here must not be used against me first of all i was 16 at one point each and every one of you watching this video had done something, you know, wild <laughs> at one point in your life. So don't judge me. Ah. In case everybody's wondering what this green chunk is, this is the original OboeJ. The original medicine, medicine, what's Obo? Sorry, medicine, blood, blood medicine, yes. Okay, so I was 16 when I graduated from secondary school and you know, it was considered quite young. So I was 16 now, I had no experience like with anything whatsoever. So I met this guy through a friend, actually through a, through my classmates like in my, in my school. But the guy went to another school but that was within my school's um, vicinity, like my school area. So anyway, he got my number, we got texting, we got talking, and we got talking and then um like a few months we, we got talking like before i graduated but we met up like a few weeks after my graduation i know i saw i saw you now like ah i want to do i want to fight i want to set i will not like he was a fine guy he was cute he was you know you're about the one kind of <laughs> so anyway we met up and the first time we met up was just a normal random meeting of we just met outside you know within friends actually and you know we got talking and i was like ah this one is nice you know this one was shaking me now so after a while he asked me out and you know 16 i was like yeah my mom about it that oh okay mom you i have a boyfriend though she was like mm, okay oh, be careful something 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 don't let anybody do anything to you don't let anybody touch you you know so I'm like yeah 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 i was listening when my mind was going here yeah, and coming out of this so about a few weeks later we decided to meet up like somewhere else and i was like okay so what i told my mom i told my mom i was going to my classmate's house like that was the, the friend that i connected that he connected me through that that we connected through i told her i was going to his house and she was like okay you know she didn't see it as a big deal because it was obviously not a big deal i'm going to my classmate's house it was not a big deal since apparently I, i'm really close to that classmate so she was like okay now no problem so the first time i went <laughs> i went to i went to my classmate's house so that they were like okay oh well, yeah so they, they saw me oh if my mom asked yes i was obviously in their place because that was not a lie <laughs> so anyway i went down and we met up <laughs> We met, you know, we got talking. I told her we talking. I told her, I was like, you know, it was not comfortable, but it was just there. So we did. We moved to the room. At first, we were just lying down. And you know, boys, now you know how they would do. Gradually, gradually, his hand was touching me. Gradually, gradually, his body was touching me. So, like that, like that. He kissed me, and whatever happened, what happened after? I actually can't remember what happened. I actually never got to third base. Let's even, I never. So, you know, first base kind of thing. So, you know, it was all exciting and all that. Ah, I was like, okay, okay. Ah, so, this is how they do it. This is how... ah, okay, no problem. So, I went home. You know, I felt like nothing. I didn't tell my mom anything. Nothing. I didn't tell anybody anything. Actually. So, you know, things were going on for a while. It was fine. Then we met up again the second time. The second time of meeting up was the last time. <laughs> and that day, I actually told my mom I was going to my classmate's house again. So, I did. I went now. After everything, I came back home. So, fast forward to the day, my secrets got out of the bag. This group that he, he added me to, it was a group of like people from different schools, you know, our own age, 
that know each other and you know just you know how groups are now you just have these random groups with random people so he added me to a group that time his ex was in that group his ex at one time texted me i was like oh yeah so 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 are you dating let's call you mr j she was like are you dating mr j and i was like yes who are you and she was like oh i'm his ex blah 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 and i was like okay i don't want any drama i didn't know what's up so i texted him i was like this this is and like oh don't mind her she's just her she's just like um an obsessed ex blah blah blah, blah. i was like what you know the, all the drama was new to me because i've never had that kind of so he told me don't answer her whatever she says blah, 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 blah. don't believe her i was like okay so anyway in that group on that day they were talking about a lot of like sexual things so they started sending like x-rated pictures and videos and all that fortunately for me i saw the pictures and i deleted them because i was not really into that kind of stuff so i saw the pictures i deleted them but unfortunately for me i didn't see the videos i actually didn't know that the videos downloaded so i didn't know i didn't check i didn't bother i didn't see anything so that day after work we actually stayed long on the road because there was like this mad traffic and you know i came we came back home late we came back home around 11 or to 12 or something so anyway that night though i was about to delete my messages and you know i had already been home for like an hour plus and my mom, mom expect, expected me to be asleep at that time so she just came out of her room i don't know what she came out to do she just saw that my lights were still on she just came Kuisola, uh uh, why are you still awake? Something, something. So immediately she came, I just dropped my phone and she was like, Kilo Shay, something, something. I was like, nothing, I want to sleep, I want to charge my phone now. She was like, uh uh, but if I were give me that, she, she first said, Oh yeah, lost soon. I was like, okay, I'm going to sleep, thank God. She just said, If I tell for me, phone, yeah, no, for me, phone, yeah, my phone, Lola. I remember that, like, yeah, they me. I locked it, put it off, and gave the phone to her. And charge her. So she went now in my mind. I could not sleep oh, because she had already gone for like 20 minutes. I could not sleep. I was like, hey God, you're this much full of this food. You know, I was just feeling very, very uneasy. Uneasy. That's how about 20 minutes she came outside. I was like, Consola, open your phone. Ah, the moment she just said, open your phone like this. In fact, I lost the will to live. <laughs> I lost, I lost the will to live. Ah, in my mind, I was like, Mogbe, Moku, Motita. So I did now. I was like, mommy, I was like, mommy, I don't want to open this phone. I actually told her, mommy, I don't want to open this phone. She was like, why? You know, when that kind of thing, she will obviously want to know more. Like, know why you don't want to. So she did. She brought her kid. I was 16. I was not above plus. So anyway, I did now. I didn't know. I, I, that, that night, I knew that things were either going to go to ways. Either I unlock the phone and I die, or I don't unlock the phone and I still die. So I was just like, you know what? <laughs> Let's just get this one. <laughs> I cannot take it anymore. I went to her door. I started crying. Mommy, please don't read my messages. Mommy, please don't go through my phone. Mommy, please don't check your clicker. I thought, well, she had already started reading them. So, after about 10 minutes of crying and begging at her doorstep, she came outside. We came. Be going. Because she had already started. I think she just didn't, she didn't know how to feel. So, she just said, going. She, I can't wait. I came back to my room. I sat on the floor. I was crying. Then, after a while, I slept off. Like, why crying? Because I was already tired. <laughs> I slept off. Then, I don't know how long it was, but she just came only for me to wake up and I saw her looking at me Like my mom was actually sitting down on my bed looking at me like she was looking at me and she was like She just like talking Um, this is your boyfriend. How old is he? Blah blah blah. Like blah. where do you meet him? All this kind of stuff So I asked her a lot of questions and she was like, so all the time you were telling me you are going to go and meet your friend You are going to go and see a boy Want some something? How old are you? How old is this? She just asked questions, ask questions, ask questions and as of this time, it was only like one, one, like after one or thereabouts. So she asked questions, a lot of questions. She did, she did, did, did. Then I think she had not finished reading the messages. She just really like, she had just gotten like halfway. She had not really gone deep, deep. Cause she didn't, she didn't, she, she didn't ask me about like the sexual part yet. So she went. In my mind, I was like, hey God, I followed that again. I said, cry, mommy, please, now mommy, please. She went, she locked that door, she continued with it. I sat down at her doorstep, oh, I was crying. <laughs> I was crying. I sat down there again. She came out again after a while. I was like, oh, you so loud. Oh, you so loud, mommy. Oh, you so loud, mommy. I think it was then that she actually got into the sexual part of the 
whole thing. You ask me questions. Have you had sex with him? Da, da, da. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, no, because obviously not. So, like, I kept telling her no, and I was not true. She was like, eh, she can never believe me. Blah, 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 blah. Like, we have gone this far. Some, 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 some. That there's no way you've not had sex. I was like, no, we have not sex. Which I was actually telling the truth because I have I, I, not. So I told her, now, mommy, I'm not sex with you. She was like, no, I can't believe you. It is. Oh. Fast forward now till about three o'clock. I sat down in the sitting room. I said, yeah, I sat down in the sitting room, and you know, I slept like this. Like I actually forgot and slept up, like with my head my, on my hand on my leg like this. Next thing on my back was like hot habara. Like that was when the beauty started. Hot, like the habara was hot. I'm sure that that night, if I had raised up my clothes to snap my back, I would have seen the the the, the shape of my mom's hand. Because the abaya was like it was it was to wake me up like G it was, it was like jazz up. I say man you jazz up. I say man you jazz up. One more jazz up. I know what my hand do you here. I go forget this thing for your head. I say man you jazz up. So anyway, I woke up now. I was still trying to like yeah yeah yeah. She was just saying she was just saying she did 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 she talk talk talk. She went inside. She got belt. I got I got belt beating. After I went, I think she felt like digging. The iron on the belt was going to injure me. She was like, no, she dropped, she dropped it. After a while, she took slippers. The slippers did not do anything. Then she went and took Omorogu. My family, if I tell you, Omorogu broke, you guys. Like, she used the Omorogu to, to beat me to the extent that it broke. I think the Omorogu breaking was the height. She was like, no, there's nothing else that she can do. There's nothing else that she can do for me. Or to me, actually. You know, I was really crying. I was bowling my eyes out. I was like, ah. So anyway, after a while, she went inside, read a few messages. I think this was like the final one. So she just said, get out. You remember, I was like, first of all, get out of here. It is the middle of the night. I, I, don't, I know you are angry, but it is the middle of the night. So like, get out. And I was even wearing clothes. That was even the funny part. I was just wearing a top and underwear. She was like, get out. So I'm like, mommy, I'm not wearing any clothes. It's the middle of the night. Why are you doing like this thing? So she was like, she was really like, you know, shouting, get out, get out, get out. She did, she dragged me, threw me outside. So anyway, I sat on there for about almost close to an hour, almost close to an hour. I'm sure like, my mom could not sleep. So she came back, she came out, I was like, come inside. I came inside, I was like, mommy, thank you, ma. I love you, ma, I will not do it again. I was really trying to like explain to her. She was like, no, don't, don't explain to me. There's nothing you can say to me. Then, then. She was like, if you get pregnant, you know, I, she didn't believe that. Okay, I didn't have sex. I didn't have sex. She was like, if you get pregnant, you would, you, I, she, I, I don't think she, she said she would throw me out, she would throw me out. I don't think she said she would actually throw me out. I think she said, you will stay here, but I won't feed you, I won't clothe you, blah, 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 blah. You will sell pepper. And my mom's favorite line is, you will sell pepper. You will sell pepper, you will sell pure water. <laughs> so, like that, that was how the night went though. After getting beaten, like, I actually go like, beating of my life. Because I got beat with hand. I got a barra. I got belt, I got slippers, I got omorogo, you guys. I got omorogo, yeah. That was like a lot of things. And I don't care if anybody sees that abuse. It was not abuse, it was resetting. Like, to reset your brain. Although the brain is not like entirely correct or anything, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, that was how that night went. It was, it will forever be the top experience I will never forget. I would never in my life. No, I probably can't. She probably, my mom can probably look at me and say, okay, eh, I'm going to beat you for doing blah, blah, blah. But you know, but like, basically, that's how it went. Um, it was an experience. <laughs> I can't say a bad or good experience, but you know, it was an experience. Basically, that's it. Now, you know, I'm my mom, right? Jeez, shout out to you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my mom Rajis now. I tell her almost everything. At least, you know, the things that I can actually tell her that are not so much to talk about. <laughs> so yeah, uh, anyway, that is it. Um I hope you enjoyed this story time video. I hope it's not too long when I actually edit. So yeah. Mm, I hope you enjoyed this story time. Um be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I mean after all my story, wasting my spit. You don't tell me you're not subscribed to my channel and you actually think that makes sense. It doesn't. It doesn't, but you know, go off, do you? No problem. Eventually you still subscribe because you keep watching. So yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video.